Hey Mike, you wanna know what's in this big ass box? Me too. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. Wavywayne.com is the best place to get your mixing recording templates and to request a mixing service from your boy, Wavy, hi. Thanks for tuning in to this video. I am so excited. It's new gear day, as we call it around here, because Sweetwater, ship me a big ass box, bro. They sent me this big old box. I kind of know what's in it, but I kind of don't, man. So we are going to find out what's exactly in this box. So y'all going to come along for the ride. And you probably already know what's in the box based on the title of the video. But whatever, cuz. Let's just watch the video. Dang. I don't got my knife on me, so I'm going to be using my keys. And I guess it'll probably help if I brought this camera down a little bit. All right. Cool. Can you see everything? Can you see it all right? All right, so uh, like I said, man, Sweetwater sent me this box um, and it inside, what I'm expecting is a pair of Mackie CR8 monitors, all right? Now this is apparently a good monitor for the home studio. You can even use it for your home theater, man. And I'm gonna check these out, unbox it, let y'all know what's in the box. I'm gonna even set them up in my setup and use it as a secondary reference for a mix that I gotta do today. So y'all gonna get a little insight on what I really think, all right? So let's get the box open. That was hard work. <laughs> I'm gonna use this box as a table so I can sit this up. And get it up off of the flop. All right, so unlike most monitors, these actually are sold as a pair. So that's cool. And it's really good because they only cost about 350 bucks for the whole pair. Uh, yeah, compared to most monitors, you might be lucky to get one for $350. So they already <laughs> are setting us off on a good foot. But <laughs> I'm tripping, cause before I jump into the box, I usually like to see <laughs> what the box say. Cause it'll tell you a lot of information on the box. So let's just go ahead and look here what they say, okay. CRA Bluetooth monitors, okay? We know a thing or two about studio gear. <laughs> Why they sound so good. <laughs> Keep your options open, plug in all the things. All right, cool, so they have premium drivers, precision waveguide delivering the sweet detail, on or off and volume, on, off and volume. Okay, you're in charge. Adjust the volume and turn the knob on them. Okay, cool. So that's cool. If you don't have a monitor controller or whatever, you would be able to turn the volume up and down directly on these, uh, on the monitors. Have a headphone output. So that's cool, man. Uh, depending on how you have these set up, you may be using the only jack. Let's say you're using a laptop speaker without an interface and you're using the headphone output to uh, set up these monitors. Well, they actually have a headphone output, so you ain't gotta keep unplugging and replugging and unplugging and replugging and unplugging and replugging and unplugging. Unplug 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 you get it, okay? Um, <laughs> snazzy logo, also a button. Okay, what does that button do? Press and hold this button uh, to pair your Bluetooth device to the speakers. Now, why would you wanna use Bluetooth with some studio monitors? I guess that's a, a couple of things. Maybe you're gonna be uh, having a party, right? And you want to be like, yo, you know what? Check out these cool monitors that I have uh, for this party. So that's cool. Um, left, right speaker selection, lefty or righty. Choose where your main speaker is located and prevent confusion when you pan something. Can also be flipped to mess with someone. Wow. So instead of having to uh, choose between left and right, um, just by plugging in the cables, you can switch them internally. That's cool. 
Quarter inch TRS input, connect a professional audio device like a mixer or audio interface. I think that's the option I'm going to choose. Um, RCA inputs, connect the computer or other consumer device. This would be cool because I might actually, after I'm done with these, I might take these to the crib and connect them to my TV. Um, I don't know how my wife is going to feel about that though. <laughs> Um, aux input. This one is really handy. Plug in your smartphone or other media player. So like I said, not only can they be used in the studio, but they can also be used for Netflix and chill. You know what I'm saying? Or if you having a party at the crib, you can Bluetooth connect. You can plug the aux input in. VCR ain't, so ain't too bad, right? Speaker output. This one <laughs> goes to the other CR monitor. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so they basically can connect from one to the other because you you see one of them just has, we'll see when it's on there, but what I'm assuming is that you put all your inputs on one monitor and then you go out of this monitor into the other monitor. Um, it, it, I like that setup sometimes. It's for one, it's going to save you a little bit of a uh, hassle when you have to move cables around and stuff like that. Okay. And rear port. Not a hiding place. <laughs> you can stash your dope in there. <laughs> um, not a hiding place. You can thank this port for all that lovely bass you're about to hear or have heard or dream about. All right, cool. So now let's get into the box and see what's in here. They even have a little list, but we don't care about what they say over there. We're going to go ahead and get in our box. So here we go. Let's get this box open. This is a big box, man. So you ain't going to be able to see me and the box. Now, usually Sweetwater has seen some candy, but since this thing was so tightly packed in there, I don't think that I got no candy in here. <laughs> I lied. They gave me some candy. Now, I ain't gonna do nothing with this candy. I'm gonna probably throw it away because you know what I'm saying? Your boy be trying to keep them games, and this right here, that ain't gonna do it. <laughs> All right. So let's see first what we got. Pro Gear Select. <laughs> As if I need to buy anything else. Anything else around here? All right, cool. Now, before we get to the nitty gritty, we have these some monitor pads. This is dope. I never seen a pair of monitors actually come with these pads, man. But basically, this is gonna help to decouple the monitors from your desk or workstation a little bit to give you a little bit better sound right so it's not giving so much vibration to the desk or stands that they working on so um these are actually gonna come in handy i'm gonna use these <laughs> Or what you can do with this, right? You can take these, wrap them up, tape them, and, and make your own Chaotica eyeball with <laughs> I'm just joking, don't do that. All right, what else in the box before we pull out these massive monitors? Thank you for choosing sweet water, yada, yada, yada. All right, here we go. That's a big old eight inch woofer. Looking like about a one inch tweeter. I'm gonna sit this on the desk over here. Uh oh, sweet water. We got, these are RCA cables, okay? And there's also some speaker cables in here as well. We'll take a look at what that might be used for later. Okay, and here's another. Okay, it's cool. So is this a, they they are set. So depending on how you want to set it, if you want to like angle them or not, uh, these are the more of the speaker pads. Sit that over there. Ooh, check this out. Sweetwater hooks your boy. Yep. Look at this Sweetwater shirt. Damn, I'm probably be flexing in this. Thank you. Shout out to Brent, uh, Brian and Natalie over at Sweetwater. They always be look, hooking me up. They're my peoples. Sweetwater sticker. One day I'm going to put one of these somewhere. You know what I'm saying? But not right now. We got a power cable. Now the power cable is actually attached to the monitor here. So that's cool. Um, but this is my second monitor. Anything else in the box? Got some instructions and stuff. Keep this card 
record and produce like a pro. Oh, Pro Tools first. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be looking at this. I think I'm just gonna figure it out. All right, cool. So that's everything that's in the box. Let me get these monitors unwrapped and then I am going to talk about them with y'all. Um, here we go. I'm taking a look right now at the back and the front of the CR8XBT. BT because it has Bluetooth, X because Wakanda forever. <laughs> All right, so this is the powered speaker and this is the passive speaker, okay? So let's take a look at the back of this one. So if you notice, on the passive speaker, it ain't really got nothing. It got the speaker um, inputs, okay? That, that's it. So we're gonna take the speaker cables from this speaker using the speaker cables that they actually provided. We're gonna take them from here over to here. Now, let's turn this back around because I love this little green outline. This just looks so cool. It makes it look very sleek and uh, futuristic by having this green outline on this actual uh, speaker. And I also love that it's rear ported because the whole front just looks super clean. Um, now this one is not a button. Let's take a look at what we have on the back of the actual powered speaker because this is where stuff is, is going down. Um, we got our inputs, quarter inch TRS. Um, this is the, the professional inputs that I would be using and more consumer inputs would be the RCA. Um, they actually included these. I wish they would have included some TRS cables, but you know what I'm saying? That's cool too. Um, but again, if I decide to maybe take these to the crib and use um, and use them in my home studio, I mean my home theater setup, connect them to the TV and all that, then this is where I would connect that. And they also have, oh, this is the aux input as well. So a stereo and little eighth inch aux input jack that's gonna be very handy if you need that as well to keep the body job <laughs> All right, um, and again, these are the speaker outputs. Here's the power switch on and off. Now, oh, this is the thing that's dope. Since one of the speakers, God dang. <laughs> since one of, I, uh, did y'all see? That? All right, since one of the monitors has the power cable, depending on where your power source is, your power outlet in your studio, you may wanna put the power speaker on the left side, you might wanna put it on the right side. You can actually choose whether the power speaker is on the left or right just by switching this cable. Very cool, very handy. Um, and you don't have to worry about trying to put an extension cord or anything like that. I think that's a dope feature that they added on here. I never saw that before. Super dope. All right, um, let's take a look at the other side of the powered monitor. Cool, cool, cool. So this is the button. This is where you push to pair with your Bluetooth device. And they also have, okay. Oh, this is the headphone output right here. So you can connect the eighth inch headphone jack and they have a power switch on the front where you can power them on and off. You don't have to go to the back. I really like that because I always turn my monitors on and off whenever I'm done with the setup. Um, and so having them, having it right here, and this also give you the volume control too, right on the front, very, very handy. Oh yeah, that's gonna give some nice bass. Um, this is where you're gonna push this to pair. Hopefully it lights up too. That's gonna be tight if this is lit. Um, when I think that it will be. Um, CR8, studio quality sound, home studio, content creation, grooving. You know what grooving is. Grooving. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna quit being silly and I'm gonna actually go ahead and get these set up because I do have a mix that I need to work on. So I'm gonna get these set up and then when I'm finished with the mix, and I'll tell y'all what my thoughts are about these monitors and I'm gonna be using them as my secondary reference. So. I'll be back. All right, family, so I just wrapped up my first mix using the Mackie cr 8 as my secondary reference, man. There's definitely some things that I like about the monitors and a few components that I wish would be added, some things I'll probably change. So uh, let me just go over this list with y'all. Overall, they're great. If, you, if your aim is to get a good mix, these will definitely help you out in the studio, whether you're doing production, mixing, or like I said earlier, using them to jam out or in your home studio, home theater. Um, these will be a great option for you, especially for the price point that we're talking about, all right? Now, here's some notes that I have on um, some pros and cons that I found while actually working on the mix. 
Y'all want the good news first or the bad news? Bad news. All right, let's start off with the bad news. Let's get this out the way, man. We've had enough bad news this year. So it's not that many um, uh, bad cons that I was able to find. I actually only have two on my list right now. Um, one is that the lows seem to be a little overhyped to me. Now, of course, I don't usually mix with eight inch uh, woofers, right? Eight inch monitors. I have subwoofers and that rock with my Atom A7Xs or I will use the five inch monitors while I'm mixing. So it's seeming to be a little bit more low end than I wanted to actually hear coming from those monitors, especially the way I have them placed right here on my desk. That's one of the cons. Now my second con actually falls right in line with that and that there's no room controls, right? A lot of monitors on the back will have room controls that allow you to uh, change the amount of low end that you have in by, you know what I'm saying? Maybe have a shelving EQ on the back or allow you to boost the highs a little bit, but these have no room controls. So you basically just, get what you get out the box and hope that the sound is good enough for you now for the pros the things that i did like about these monitors was that the low end um the low mid range on cheap budget monitors let me not say cheap but budget monitors like this um and also like the jbl 104s that i have on my desk and uh, my sony boombox that i use all the time but the low mid range tends to be tends to be very revealing if you have any build up or problems in that low mids on monitors like these it will be very very apparent so i love the fact that i can go from my a7x's over to the um, mackie cr8s and then i can immediately hear some stuff that i wasn't hearing on the a7x's the high-end monitors tend to not reveal those low mid-range problems so much but the kind of more budget monitors will really show you what's happening in that low mid-range so these were great for that and i was able to clean up that low mid-range on this mix pretty easily i also found that the mid-range was quite detailed more detailed than i expected that's actually very important when you're working on the mix and working to get your vocals nice and crisp and clear uh the mid-range was pretty detailed man especially for the price point and what i was expecting when i plugged these in i was pleasantly surprised with the mid-range detail and of course <laughs> the last pro that i have is the price for 350 bucks getting two eight inch monitors that actually rock the room <laughs> you really can't beat that man so i thought that that was a good con pro as well <laughs> Thanks for watching this video, y'all. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. I really hope that you found this useful. If you did and you like this style of video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man, because you know I'm doing stuff like this all the times and dropping a whole bunch of gems to make you a better producer, a better engineer, a better artist, an all-around better person. You feel me? <laughs> Check out wavywayne.com if you want to get your hands on some of my custom recording and mixing templates. Also, if you want to request a professional mix from your boy, all right? Thanks for watching. Be dope.